Hi, this is Bren Antrim with the Library at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to be talking about a specific database called U.S. Major Dailies, which is a subset of the U.S. News Stream database and can be very helpful when you do your research. In order to get to the library from the college homepage, mouse over Student Support and click on Library, or click on Student Support and scroll all the way down to More Helpful Services and Resources, and we were in the middle alphabetically. Once at the library homepage, there are a number of places where you can begin your search, including one search that searches everything that we own or subscribe to. But today we're going to look at a specific database. Before we go into that specific database, I want to point out a few things in the library homepage. One is Ask a Librarian. This is 24-7 chat assistance. And when the SMC library is open, you will talk to one of us, our SMC librarian. If we are closed, say the campus is closed or it's Sunday at 2 in the afternoon, um, you will still talk to a librarian. They will be at a college or university um, in the consortium we belong to. If they can't answer your question, they will leave what's called a ticket. And when we come back to work, we will email you and make sure that you got the answer to your question. You can also look at research guides that assist you with various um, topics or various areas of interest, including citation. You can book a study room. You can take a look at our live and um, video archived workshops and our database tours like this one. Then there are upcoming events, some resources, including a link to the YouTube channel where this is um, going to be archived, hours and contact information, and links to our social media. So today, um, say you're in an English class and you need to write a research paper and your instructor requires that you have current information which comes from newspapers. So you know you need a newspaper database because if you go to latimes.com and newyorktimes.com and washingtonpost.com, you know, it takes forever and they ask you to have some sort of subscription to them. Well, we already have a subscription to all of these titles and more already paid for, and you can search them with one search in one place. And that's this database. So you head into the databases and because you know that you need newspapers, you can click on all database types and you can look specifically for those databases that include newspapers. Now, quite a few do, and they include newspapers and other things. So I'm going to give you a hint. If you want to look just for newspapers that come from, um, like I mentioned, the LA Times or New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, the Washington Post, major national daily newspapers, you can go into U.S. major dailies. This is different than U.S. Newsstream. It's a subset of it, so it's a smaller group just the major dailies pulled out of this larger database so that you can search just those. So this searches the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Los Angeles Times, the Chicago Tribune, and the Wall Street Journal. If you need more, say you need something um, more local, or you need something that you know, came up in, in Boston or in Chicago, um, Chicago Tribune is covered here, but the Boston Globe isn't. So you can go into U.S. Newsstream to look for those other newspapers that aren't covered. But if you just want to find what the national conversation is on a topic, you're going to want to take a look at the U.S. Major Dailies. So this interface may look a little bit different than some of the other um, databases that you use at SMC. It's just because it's published by a different publisher. But the logic that you use for your research is the same. So say my topic is food insecurity. I can say exactly that and it will give me options, some that make sense, some that make less sense. So I'm going to type it in and I'm going to make sure that it is limited to full text because I want the actual article, not just information about the article. And then I'm going to search it and see what I get and I get over 10,000 results. They are blogs, newspaper articles, videos from these news producers. So I want to limit this down a little bit. The first thing that I want to do is I want to head over here and say, I'm really interested in like the last five years. So I'm going to say, give me 2019, to 2024. 
Now, something to be aware of with news, they have something called the news cycle, which means that when a story is reported, if there are any changes and updates to that story, and there almost always are, then you want to get the most current version of that story so that you get the best source of news on that topic. So for a journal article, you might go back 10 years. But for a newspaper, you might only go back like six months or one year, right? So thinking about where the source comes from, I'm going to change this again. Instead of 2019, I'm going to say 2020. And that's because that's when the pandemic started. So I want to see if there's been a change over time in the news that's reported about food security since so many people lost their jobs during the pandemic. So I update that and it cuts out about 6,000, but it's still way too many. So what do I do at this point? Well, I can change the date again, or I can say, just give me newspapers. I don't necessarily want audios or blogs. I can also go down here and I can take a look at subject. And when I look at subject, it will tell me, when I click more, the subjects that are assigned to these various articles and how many articles there are on it. So say what I'm really interested in is I'm really interested in food programs for people who are food insecure. Or I'm really interested in students and how it's affecting students. So I can click on whatever that is. And I can also say, I don't really care about the politics of it. I'm really interested in the social contract and the human rights elements of it. So I'm going to exclude presidents. So you can both include terms and you can take terms out of your search. And when I do that, it comes back with 120 results, which is about 12 pages. So I can do that again. I can narrow it further. <coughs> Pardon me. Or I can just take a look and see what I've got. So when I look through here, I might find something very interesting. And this is interesting to me because it's about California, but it's in the New York Times. So this might be very interesting. I could also narrow it by going up here and adding another search term. When I research this, it has to think about it because it's got a lot of stuff to go through. It keeps all of my filters, newspapers only, ever since the pandemic, about students, not about presidents, but it takes it down to just being about Los Angeles, and it takes about two-thirds more, okay? And here we have things from the Los Angeles Times. So it's our major national newspaper, but also our local newspaper. So this looks interesting if I click on it. It gives me the full text of the article actually typed out. And it's typed out because this database is updated daily. So this literally has today's newspaper in it. But because of that, it's kind of bare bones. Um, so it will give me the text, but it won't give me the pictures, for example. It will give me other things that are possibly interesting. If you're interested in this topic, you might be interested in these topics. You can search within the terms that are attached to this topic. If you like this article, you can save it, cite it, you can get a permanent URL for it. And when you click on all options, it allows you to save to your Google Drive, to your OneDrive, etc. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cite it because I'm using this for my research paper. So I go through until I find a citation that I'm using. Now here can be a little interesting. Say we're using MLA 9th edition. This database isn't that good yet. It only has the seventh. So I can click on the seventh. It will give me a citation. I can copy and paste it into my paper and then I can fix it so that it is um, the ninth edition and not the seventh edition. I can also email it to myself. Now this is a little bit weird because when you send it, even though newspapers don't have bibliographic citations, the only way to get the database to send you a citation is to say, sure, include the bibliographic citations that it doesn't actually have. And then it will allow you to choose your citation style and send it to yourself. You can change this if you'd like. Let's say food insecurity. I might tell it to myself, this is for my English paper. 
and send that off. Once you're done, you can go back to your results and take a look and see if there are other articles that might also be useful to you. Remember to ask a librarian if you get stuck, and good luck with your research.